Ok ragazzi, salve a tutti, siamo live per la nostra bellissima intervista con Bokida. Io cercherò di curare di più la parte in italiano perché c'è qualcuno di più preparato di voi in inglese. Anzi, facciamo un po' di presentazioni. Con noi c'è Ivana. Con noi non c'è Ivana. No, ci sono, ci sono. Salve, mi piace un sacco come stai Salve. Con noi c'è Pietro, che è il nostro redattore. Che c'è davvero. Che c'è davvero, il nostro redattore. Colui che si è occupato del gioco, colui a cui dovete dare i bellissimi pugni in faccia, nel caso qualcuno della torni. E adesso lascerò a Ivana il compito di presentare il nostro ospite di quest'oggi. So, uh, good evening and welcome to this live chat we does. There is Vincent. The one of the developer of Bokida, her fall reunion. The writer and designer. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and designer, sorry. I'm so sorry. So, uh, can we start? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, we can. Come <laughs> uh, so, abbiamo già spiegato a Vincent, ci sarà un casino in mondo. Parleremo tutte le lingue del mondo. No, in realtà parleremo inglese. Parleremo It would be a real mess. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay, and maybe a little French. Bit. Okay, you want to start with something in French? Okay, I'm <laughs> no, no, please, don't go in French. I, I have some problems with that. <laughs> allora, perfetto. <laughs> Direi che possiamo iniziare, ma... We can start, but... But... Ah, traduzione in tempo reale, mi piace già yeah, questo. Yeah, traduzione in real time. Ok, io voglio chiedere a uno di noi, chi vuole fare la prima domanda. In fondo abbiamo tutti quanti scritto delle domande, le vedete scorrere nella parte sinistra dello schermo. Ogni volta che una domanda verrà, diciamo, fatta, segneremo il tempo in cui questa viene, diciamo, posta al, al nostro amico Vincent, in modo che poi sarà più facile trovarla quando vedrete il VOD oppure il video su YouTube. So we want to start uh, asking who always want to, to ask the first question and we can, as you can see on the left side of the screen there are the, the, the answers and uh, we will of course take the, the time at which at which time the question was asked. So, chi vuole iniziare, Leo? Direi che parto io con la prima, ovviamente... Leo is starting. Okay, Leo is starting, I feel so nice. Allora. Okay, Vincent, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, I like your style. Okay, our run lasted about six hours. How much time do you think a puzzle game should last? Well, should I always like leave time to translate like the question first, or do I answer right away? Answer right away. Don't worry about that. I will okay. translate later. Uh, so about like the normal time a puzzle game should last. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I have the ultimate answer on that question. What I'd say is that um, like. Uh, Contrary to maybe a more traditional puzzle game, Bokida, you have some puzzles in it, but it's not a puzzle game because we don't like create a grammar uh, that you would um, develop along the game with more and more complex puzzles, keeping using the same sets of mechanics, but pushing ever further as you go along. Like something you have in The Witness or like uh, Jonathan Bowes games. Uh, in Bokida, it's more like if they are um, some kind of environmental puzzle sometimes, but it's uh, all uh, included in an experience in total that's like more freeform because you have some puzzles, but you have a lot of exploration, you have a lot of manipulation. So it's not exactly a pure uh, puzzle game. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't know like uh, what a true puzzle game should last. <laughs> I'm not an expert. <laughs> Okay. Non ho la, rispos non okay. ho la risposta definitiva a questa domanda, uh, a differenza dei, uh, de dei puzzle game tradizionali, in Bokida le meccaniche di gioco cambiano, di uh, cambiano ogni volta, le, uh, ci sono puzzle ambientali e in ogni caso non... Uh, uh, non, non, non posso dare una risposta definitiva a questa domanda. Uh, anyway, I think it would be better if uh, I translate 
just yeah. you know, a couple of centers. <laughs> yeah, because exactly. I, 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 I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing the, the, entire, yeah. the entire phrases, the entire questions. To be honest, so. Vincent is a man of his words because he said that he will give the super complicated answers just to mess up with the yeah. so okay, yeah, okay. Like, I will, I will Vincent, we can all be friends. I mean, we are friends right now. Okay. Uh, in italiano adesso, più o meno come avete visto noi faremo la domanda in inglese, ma troverete la domanda attuale sulla parte destra dello schermo. A sinistra scorrono tutte le domande che noi abbiamo raccolto per Vincent e man mano che porremo le domande come ho già detto prima, troverete, man mano che la lista scorre, anche il minuto a cui l'abbiamo posta. Potrebbe essere utile se ve ne siete perso qualcuna per ritrovarla subito al, nel momento in cui andate a rivedere. Ok, nice answer Vincent. Adesso dobbiamo vedere chi vuole fare la domanda numero due. E io direi che... Farò io. Ok, Pietro is now... Ti posso. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, give me, just give me a second, Pietro, so I can... Put Puoi avere questi question. secondi che vuoi. Ok, nel frattempo intrattenete il nostro amico, il nostro amico Vincenzo. <laughs> What should we do while you're changing the question? Oh, he's changing the question. Yeah, yeah, on the on the right side of the, the screen, the, there is the actual question that is asked. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay, we are ready for the second question. Okay, uh, the style of Bokida at Federal Reunion is uh, very particular, uh, but do you think uh, it can easily get into the general public? And uh, what is your target? Uh, I think the, the game is definitely a niche in the sense that it's uh, very special, uh, both in the like the style and also in uh, what uh, you do in the game. Like it's less uh, guided experience than some other games. Allora, il, il gioco, lo stile di gioco è sicuramente molto particolare, sia per quanto riguarda la, la grafica, sia per quanto riguarda le modalità di gioco rispetto a rispetto a giochi uh, più tradizionali. So the idea was... Oh, sorry. Are you there? No, go. Go, don't worry. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the idea is that it's similar to um, some other... In terms of audience that we would like to reach. Uh, it's similar to some games that we have as references, which are also uh, particular, like, stylish games, and which offer uh, also... Uh, are based on exploration in the sense that Bokida is also like mainly an exploration game. And uh, you have games, the audiences like we'd like to uh, uh, see uh, playing Bokida are players who maybe enjoy games such as The Arrestor or Proteus, like it's contemplative and exploration based. Okay. Uh, I'll, um... Ci siamo, abbiamo preso come riferimento dei uh, giochi, diciamo così, dei style, stylish game e il target a cui ci riferiamo sono giocatori che hanno, a cui piacciono giochi come Pro, Proteus o I Missed the Other Game. Uh, the ok, e, what, sorry, can you repeat? <laughs> It's yeah. Dear Esther, it's like uh, a dear walking simulator. Is it the rest of the Italian game? Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, no, sorry, forget about me. Go on. Uh, uh, okay, please go on. If okay. <laughs> okay, So, yeah, um, uh, so you have players uh, like who like these types of games. There are also Uh, things in the game that uh, rem would remind you of uh, something like Empty Chamber because it's like you have those uh, sometimes weird puzzles, you have sometimes environments that are quite uh, peculiar and you have to figure out what's going on. Uh, so that's also um, kind of people interested in having to figure out uh, the way the best the way they want to play the game as well as uh, what they can do in the game are uh, more particularly targeted uh, even though uh, essentially the game doesn't really close any doors it's not like maybe some very specific genre games where uh, it primarily appears primarily appeals to players that are very hardcore in that genre. Uh, 
Uh, that's not something that's like uh, you'd see in Bukida. So it's at the same time it's kind of niche, and at the same time it has a, a wide appeal potentially. Yes. Bene, eh, i giocatori a cui siamo inter- il target a cui siamo interessati sono principalmente giocatori che, a cui piacciono giochi come Anti Chamber. Eh, comunque c'è da dire che le, il gioco non è abbastanza libero e il giocatore può decidere di. Uh, mh, ci sono varie possibilità, delle, ci sono, e quindi il gioco è rivolto a giocatori che vogliono. Uh, avere più possibilità di, di, di utilizzarlo. Allo stesso tempo è un gioco di, crediamo che sia un gioco di nicchia, ma che possa uh, catturare l'attenzione di un pubblico più generalista. Ok. Prego. <laughs> Please. Uh, the... uh, we can move to the next question? I think. Yeah. Of course. Uh, i think it will be my turn for the third okay, question. Just give me a second. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can leave you alone if yeah. you want. Just, just ask. Okay. The game involves uh, some very interesting platform magnets. Are you planning to use the game stars more on a second chapter or maybe in a whole new game? Um, so at the moment there are no other games planned. Uh, like in at the moment there are no other games planned. At the moment there are no other following directly in the line of Bukida, uh, mainly because, uh, <laughs> sorry, mainly because uh, for one, we're like scattered all over the world, so it would be very difficult to start a new project now. Um, and, uh, but the, uh, the idea is that uh, even though you have a kind of a finite experience in the, the sense that you can Uh, follow the storyline, the main storyline of the game, and finish it. Uh, the idea is that you can keep playing with uh, partly the platform mechanics as in a more like free uh, and uh, playful playstyle. So it's not exactly uh, the good thing about the game is that it's not closed after you complete the story. Potentially, you can uh, yourself uh, learn to. Be more proficient with the mechanics. That be uh, more of us like a professional uh, <laughs> and okay, no, like okay. a traveler in the game. <laughs> so it's, ok, al momento non abbiamo in programma n- altri uh, videogiochi. E, anche perché le meccaniche di gioco permettono potenzialmente agli utenti di uh, di svilupp- uh, di di, anche una volta che il, la storia è stata completata è possibile per gli utenti giocare, continuare a giocare e migliorare le, le proprie abilità e utilizzare il, le, le, queste meccaniche di platform uh, per un tempo indefinito. Ok. Ok, uh, I want to add that when I tried the game I started to fly in the air like a monkey creating infinite blocks behind me and I really enjoy that. The second thing I want to add is I think that we are... <laughs> Mentre giocavo io ho iniziato a volare in cielo come una scimmia, ha detto Leonardo. Ah, creating infinite <laughs> blocks behind my feet and I think that we are chatting while chatting, this is awesome. Okay, now there is the question number four. Um, direi che tocca a me Tocca a me mamma. It's your turn, Leo. Tocca a me mamma. Yeah. Ho preso il giro. Ok, let me update everything. I hear a dog. Hi dog, welcome to the Twitch channel of Serial Gamer Italia. Ok, here we go. And, 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 and. Ok, you ready Vincent? Because this one is a good I'm one. ready. Oh. <laughs> now, to be honest, it's a normal one. Okay, now, <laughs> I always like the variation applied to puzzle games. In this case, the making into sandbox open world. How do you think players will interface with ambiental puzzle in a wide open world? You partially answer it, but, you know, let's say the game. Yeah, I, I can elaborate on that. <laughs> uh, so, like uh, we said before, you're right, there's a lot of uh, environmental puzzles, and they're mostly environmental puzzles, meaning that uh, uh, usually they have a connection to the place where they are, and uh, it's only a few times in the game that you have those puzzles. Uh, it's not uh, like something, and they change form uh, as you go along. So the idea was that, because 
when we started the game, uh, we were toying with the concept that we were calling like interactive landscapes. Oh. And that's mm -hmm. from this idea that we derived the puzzles in the game. I'll let you translate. <ride> yeah. Ok, ehm, abbiamo utilizzato dei puzzle ambientali che, eh, che, ti, che permettono al giocatore di interagire appunto che, che cambiano con, eh, man mano che si va avanti con il, il gioco La nostra idea di base era quella di creare un, un ambiente interattivo appunto uh, Did I miss something? <ride> Ho saltato, okay. ho saltato qualcosa, Leo? No, tutto? non dovresti, non dovresti. Okay. Ok, please go on. If, uh, so, um, since it's in an open world, uh, what we had to take into consideration, uh, since it's um, like an important uh, aspect of uh, uh, making environmental puzzles, is uh, the idea of having to navigate the world and being somehow guided at some point where you will know that now you're confronted with a puzzle. So that's why we uh, establish some kind of a grammar where you have these uh, dark uh, elements always when you have a puzzle, you have fragments of the dark star, of the dark planet, sorry. Um, and uh, usually we've tried to keep this uh, consistent language that when you have something you, you can interact with, you'd find it has a, it's dark and it uh, contrasts with what you have uh, otherwise. Ok, le, siamo partiti con l'idea di creare un open, un open world in cui il giocatore potesse eh, praticamente navigare, eh, navigarci dentro. E in questi ambienti gli, eh, i puzzle, ci sono frammenti di puzzle che, vengono, che sono possibili riconoscere eh, perché colorati di nero. E, that, that's it. Uh, And so... And so um, the, the final aspect that's important in the way we approach puzzle, like I said, was the idea of having interactive landscapes. So it needed to be something where interacting with a puzzle is at the same time something that uh, ruptures uh, the flow of uh, what you do otherwise in the game, meaning that you're, uh, there's a lot of uh, traveling and using the mechanics that you have to travel to create structures and stuff. And the idea was when you reach a place where you have a puzzle, usually it forces you to take a moment, a step back, and think about, okay, so how is it going to react to my tools? Uh, what is it I have to do? And since it's in an open world, the last thing important to us was to make sure, like when you have a puzzle, it will usually lead to either a transformation of the world you're in or leading you to another place so that it makes sense to be in an open world and to have like the puzzles uh, because they actually extend uh, the open world uh, as you solve them or they transform it so that it changes and so it uh, renews the experience of being in an open world. Okay. Uh, on, baby. Let's do it. See. <laughs> Ok, uh, nel, abbiamo cercato di creare un open, un open world in cui il giocatore uh, una volta arrivato in un punto dove c'era un puzzle da risolvere uh, avrebbe dovuto prendersi un attimo per chiedersi che cosa stesse succedendo uh, attorno a lui e, um, e i puzzle permettono di, o di uh, trasformare l'ambiente in cui ci si trova oppure di uh, muoversi da un ambiente all'altro e um, abbiamo cercato appunto di creare un, uh, un open world um, diverso e... aiutami un attimo Leo, era un po' lunga Beh, male, sorry. Sì. <ride> <ride> sì, diciamo so, uh, yeah, don't have a, a really good memory. I'm sorry for that. I'm really no, no, sorry no, for that. A short term for long no. sentences memory. Okay, no, so no, yeah, no. What, what I was saying is like there's the the part about um, the puzzles extending the open like uh, unlocking new places or transforming new places so that it makes sense in an open world because Uh, we don't just uh, like ask you to stop and do puzzles and then go back to uh, the experience of the open world. It's meshed the two together. Allora, eh, questa, questo cambiamento che eh, avviene attraverso gli, i puzzle permette di 
uh, di, eh, quello che crediamo sia un open world e permette di, di mescolare le, le, aiutami aggi- col, eh, col fatto eh. che il mondo cambia diciamo, man mano che si va a giocare avanti più che un'esplorazione è quasi una modifica stessa del, del mondo di gioco sì. quindi ti costruisco so here you have like it's a, a good time you have an example like uh, he just uh, the player just like uh, found a place where it has to build some kind of uh, 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 to fill some kind of a frame to open a passage exactly. and when you you do it you actually like there's an opening behind and then you'll travel to somewhere else you and the idea uh, is that when you have those environmental puzzles when you solve the puzzle sorry mm-hmm. uh, you um, like I said before you also usually uh, find behind or in the experience of solving the puzzles that it transforms a little bit what you are usually doing when you're not confronted to a puzzle like it forces you to play in a, or forces you know but uh, invites you to play in a different manner too you actually explore and craft the the world at the same time yeah and so you it trans when you are uh, solving a puzzle usually compared to how you use your tools yourself uh, when you're exploring, you usually have to take a step back, like I said, and yeah. think about how you're going to do it, what you're going to use, uh, what do you have uh, at your disposal, how does it work. Ok, uh, i puzzle, uh, per fare un esempio, utilizzando, alla fine, risolvendo un puzzle è possibile cambiare il, mo- uh, il mondo in cui ci si trova, aprire nuove strade. Uh, e quindi il giocatore non soltanto deve risolvere i puzzle ma eh, questa modalità, questo tipo di, di, di gioco gli permette anche di, eh, di osservare il mondo in cui si trova e come è cambiato sì. Sì. è quasi un limite Beh. diciamo definirlo un puzzle game visto tutte queste meccaniche sì esatto okay. mette una maggiore interazione allora io I'm sure to do better at like keeping the like giving you time <laughs> to translate because <laughs> I know it's hard <laughs> okay now I think that this one is an easy one and I let Pietro do it <laughs> okay uh, one of the main strength of the game is the soundtrack uh, which perfectly blends uh, into the environment uh, would you like to talk about his composition and about the people involved? And I would like to add, if you want to sing something to us, we were really glad to hear you. <laughs> okay. I'm you. not a great singer. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the music is uh, all uh, composed by uh, one person, Xavier, uh, like, uh, uh, he's uh, also a streamer. Uh, oh. He's a... Um, oh. Like a pseudonym is MV uh, Dang, uh, Xavier MV, Mr. MV. Uh, and he has a. Uh, uh, so he does. Uh, um, he works uh, uh, with music and he was involved in the project even at the beginning when it was still a prototype. La musica è stata, è stata composta da una sola persona, Xavier MV, e che è stata coinvolta nel progetto uh, fin dalle sue fasi iniziali. Okay. And so, uh, what's interesting about that is that uh, since he was involved from I- I- the very early stages, uh, when he was doing the soundtrack and he was composing the music, it evolved along with the game. So there were several instances, the music, we made new music, we changed some of the older music as we went along, and it created this uh, uh, connection between uh, the way, like, the f- the feeling you have when you are in this world and trying to capture that and having the music uh, complemented yeah. ok il um, la, la musica è cambiata molto dagli stadi iniziali e, e questo rifle- si um, riflette bene il eh, il, il processo che c'è dietro alla creazione del, che c'è stato dietro la creazione del gioco e ciò che volevamo era appunto che la musica um, riuscisse a, the, a, a fondersi perfettamente con uh, queste dinamiche sempre in evoluzione che succede? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, you can go on if you want. Too, perfect. I think that yeah. he is not going to sing something for us. Okay, I think. Yeah, <laughs> probably think, not. Yeah. Also, it's like a, singing would be uh, portraying a wrong idea because there's no uh, voice that singing in the game. So. Uh, oh yeah, for that reason. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have a Cantare very good sarebbe... reason not to sing. Cantare non sarebbe una buona idea perché non c'è alcuna non, non c'è alcun pezzo cantato nella soundtrack. <laughs> okay, I'll accept the answer so we can still be friends. <laughs> okay, uh, la prossima data la lascio a te, Ivy. Direi di andare Yeah, a that's my question. Dammi solamente un secondo per aggiornare tutto. Yeah. Prego. Every player has or is going to have his or her uh, own theory about who the two entities that we have to get together are. Can you give us some hint or some clues about them? Uh, I like this question. <laughs> <laughs> I like talking about the story. We're going like to like to, to listen to the answer, so yeah, we have only that. So yeah, so... Um, the, in the world of Wikida, you have those two uh, planets, basically, like the dark one and the light one, and they're personified. So the idea is that they are uh, lovers. They have been separated. They were separated for a very long time. And when you enter the game as a player, you're like awakened by those uh, planets and your uh, task, basically, to help them be reunited so that they would be together again. Uh, okay. And the idea is you have to bring them back together. E nel gioco abbiamo questi due pianeti, uno bianco e uno nero, uh, che sono praticamente amanti e sono stati separati. E nel gioco ci si, rit- uh, si lo, um, il giocatore ha l'obiettivo di riunire questi due uh, amanti. So what's interesting? Yeah, so what's interesting um, is that uh, you are uh, addressed by the planet, by the dark planet. Uh, she asks you to help this reunion and she, she uh, invites you to keep going along the way when you restore links between the two planets. So if you look at the stream right now, you see in the background there's this black monolith and there's a connection that has been restored between the two planets which has brought them closer together. And that's how the environment revealed itself to the player. Sì, um, il, il, il giocatore ha um, diciamo, dato il compito dal pianeta, de, de, dal pianeta nero, che è una lei, di, uh, di riunirli e come è possibile osservare nel... Wait, nel... he has to move now because you can't see it anymore. What? <laughs> sì, è cambiata l'immagine. Now, right now there, is no, there are no planets, there are people, awesome people. Look at those people. Oh, ok, <ride> ok. Eh, in ogni caso nel gioco ci sono questi eh, ci sono delle, dei collegamenti tra questi due pianeti che devono essere ristabiliti per poter riavvicinare questi due amanti. And so that's going to be the main storyline that uh, accompanies the player and is, is called to action basically. But you'll discover uh, that's what you were saying in the question like there's an interpretation that is uh, open to every player because you also discover why you travel the world that there are other messages that are there and you have eventually the opportunity to piece them together and to understand better what this relationship between the two is about nel in ogni caso il giocatore uh, il gioco in, uh, dovrà scoprire il per, uh, dovrà scoprire la storia di questi due amanti e, e vabbè, ricostruirla praticamente okay. ok the next question ok, la prossima domanda la faccio io aggiorno subito anche perché è una da cui tengo molto l'ho scritta con tanta passione e, ok, this is the question I really care about so Vincent, I want you to be ready i am. <laughs> okay. I am. Lay on me. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, no, just don't make some noise. Okay, the storytelling of the game is very delicate. In a world where narration is usually intrusive, with many cinematic and pauses, it's easy to miss the poetry that comes from the interaction between game and gamer. What's your opinion about on this argument? Uh, so the idea, when we started 
like working on the narration for Bukida, uh -huh. there was uh, the the narrative that you would follow along, which is this relationship of the two planets. And it really grew uh, organically from there. But uh, indeed, when we um, were thinking about maybe giving the opportunity to, uh, to the player to understand more if they wanted to, uh, we had to find a way to do this that wouldn't be non-intrusive because we felt it's like uh, not the point of the of a game to just impose on you narration. Quando abbiamo iniziato a lavorare sulla narrazione di uh, Bokida, uh, volevamo non volevamo uh, crediamo che, non volevamo essere troppo invasivi perché non crediamo che il uh, che lo scopo di un gioco sia quello di imporre la narrazione al al giocatore, appunto. Sì. And... <laughs> And, oh, sorry, and there was also the, the issue, <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. that uh, actually, like, none of us were real sto storytellers in the sense that we are, we're not, like, writers or anything. Uh, and so um, it was important to also um, reflect in what narration we would put in the game, uh, the fact that... Uh, Since we were not like master storytellers anyway, mm -hmm. it also played a good part in making us craft the these uh, stellies that you have around the world where you have like messages you can read. Yes. And mm -hmm. that will give you eventually context, but uh, it's interspersed between moments of gameplay. It's like you, for you to piece it together and uh, it stems from also this, what I was saying, like, were not narrators in the beginning and so it didn't make sense to impose a strong like constraining narrative on the, upon the player. Non siamo uh, noi ovviamente non siamo scrittori, quindi uh, non avrebbe avuto gran senso imporre uh, ai giocatori la questa questo tipo di un tipo di un tipo di narrazione del genere. Quindi ci sono all'interno del, del gioco dei messaggi che eh, ti danno diciamo, il contesto di, di dove stai, dove ti trovi, dove cosa stai facendo, mm, ma in ogni caso non siamo... Non, um... Aiutami un attimo Leo. Sì, più che altro uh... non hanno, diciamo, come hanno detto lui stesso, si sono diciamo, abituati a fare quello che devono fare perché non apprezzano essere invadenti da quel punto di vista della narrazione, che è una cosa che odio anch'io. E aggiungo un pezzettino alla domanda, I think that the fear that you have when you write the stories, will the player understand what you are trying to say? And I think that this is the reason why everyone puts so many cinematics, so many, so long text to read, so yeah, I think that... Yeah, it's obviously been something that we've, uh, like we've experienced ourselves Uh, seeing how uh, the texts in Bukida are sometimes a little bit cryptic, mm -hmm. you have to fully understand it. You cannot do this the easy way. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, if you want to understand it, trust me, it, as, you an have... as an Italian, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> uh, you have to travel the world, you have to uh, go. Um, like um, in every corner of this world, explore every corner of this world, and uh, try to figure out the logic, the rationale behind how and what temporality those texts uh, work in, if you want to understand fully the message they carry. Mm -hmm. I messaggi che si trovano all'interno del gioco sono un po' criptici, e Bene. quindi non sarà facile per... Body, body. impegnarsi per, per capirli e per uh, capire come questi si collocano all'interno della storia all'interno della storyline uh, e sì non sarà non sarà non, detto che non sarà facile sì, sì, se possiamo riassumere attivate il cervello perché sarà uno di quei giochi sì. di intripperà abbastanza diciamo <ride> che, che potremmo tradurre can... in... yes but on top of this you can see that um there was still the importance of setting the context for us uh, and that's why we have more traditional like cinematic at the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, i think the voice of the planet helps also to enforce the its presence in for the player 
so that uh, it structures the overall experience and it structures also what you find in the studies around the world, which are more like diluted and more hard to decipher. Okay. okay. Uh, in... In ogni, in ogni caso all'inizio del, del gioco ci sono dei, uh, abbiamo dei video che, che, con cui anche viene, è possibile ascoltare la voce dei pianeti e questo per dare una, diciamo così, un riferimento al, a un inizio più, più soft e più chiaro anche perché man mano, man mano che si va avanti con il gioco le, le stelle e i messaggi vengono, diventano più difficili da decifrare mm-hmm. Okay. So, still, in the end, still, it is um, definitely an intention on our part to have, to keep also this delicacy that you talked about in the question, uh, to make sure it's at the same time uh, not intrusive, like it's not forced on the player. And also, uh, if you're interested in getting to know more there's a way for you to figure out more about the world and eventually also if you really um, are involved in the game meaning that you will after like you will collect stuff you will find stuff that's hidden in the world you will get also because they're on stellies that you find in the world you will get more of the messages and potentially uh, your involvement is also in the story is also based on your involvement in playing the game and in okay. so the the world. how deep he wants to go sì, uh, stavo dicendo appunto che era proprio quello che volevano mantenere una, una sorta di delicatezza della narrazione e, ma in ogni caso c'è un modo per il, per il giocatore di sapere di più della storia ed è quello di eh, essere maggiormente coinvolto nel gioco quindi avere, o, col, collezionare più messaggi dalle, dalle steli e, eccetera e quindi per sapere di più della storia bisogna uh, giocare di più al gioco, essere più coinvolti nel gioco. The more you will play, the more you will know. I like it. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you, and it's not forced either. No, yeah. E non è forzata la cosa. That's what I like in, in a game, to be honest. Ok. And we agree on that. <laughs> yeah, we agree on a lot of things. I told you we can be friends. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Okay, now let's move to the next question and Pietro is going to be the question. No, 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 no. Okay, Pietro, bye. Sono pronto. <laughs> okay. okay uh, many players uh, compare this game to Andy Chamber or Unfinished Swan. How do you reply? Well, first we like we're okay with <laughs> those comparisons. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> It's uh, also like something that makes sense to us because uh, I mentioned it before, Antichamber, mm-hmm. for example, it's something yep. that we were influenced by uh, when uh, we were thinking about uh, interesting ways that we found in Antichamber of uh, asking or putting the player in a situation in-game where you have to take a step back, like pause for a second and think about like, oh, wait, how does this work here? Like, what's going on here? Uh, the rules are changing locally in this environment, uh, and I have to adapt to this, like, to figure out what is going to work in this particular environment. And that's something uh, that we've uh, relied on a lot for all the environmental puzzles that we were talking about before. Um, ok, prima, innanzitutto sì, eh, siamo d'accordo con, queste, con paragono eh, questi lucide, paragoni, eh. è un paragone che, che <ride> ha senso. E ho, ho già uh, detto prima di, che ci siamo ispirati a Anti Chamber, e in particolar modo in quanto vogliamo creare una, um, dei modi interessanti, dei modi uh, con cui il giocatore, eh, con cui il giocatore che permettessero al giocatore di fare un passo indietro e di e di chiedersi che cosa stesse accadendo, se il mondo sta cambiando, se le regole del, in questo particolare uh, ambiente stanno cambiando e mi, mi devo adattarmi e, e sì, e sì. Uno sì. Uno sì. Uno. Yeah, and on top of that, I think it also 
resonates uh, like those comparisons for us because it's definitely I think um, a register of game uh, we talked about before like niche or like mm -hmm. something that yeah. is quite unusual and I think it's something you you find in those two examples and that's definitely some kind of a affiliation or at least like a uh, a common ground that we have with those uh, games that we uh, definitely feel uh, fits what we're doing with Burkida. Uh, siamo d'accordo con questo, uh, vorrei rimarcare che siamo d'accordo con questi paragoni perché è, è ciò che vogliamo trasmettere con, uh, con Bokida, l'esperienza che vogliamo trasmettere, lo stile, esatto. Ok. Uh, Prossima domanda. Next question. And this thing. time is right again with Evie. Okay. Yeah, that's when, my turn. When that <laughs> I hope I'm not like tiring you too much, like you're no. going to be able to laugh. No, no, no. no, 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 no <laughs> I mean, in the translating and everything is going to be. It has no, to be the, don't tough. worry, don't worry. <laughs> I will get used to it. Um, your board is fulfilled with many awards. For an indie team, it is, a, is it a very important incitement to see that much recognition for a quite unique game? Uh, yeah, that's very true. I mean, uh, it's, uh, for example, when we started uh, turning, like working on Bukida to turn the initial prototype into uh, more like a full game, the motivation that we had to do this was because uh, we were we had won a couple like we had won a student award uh, in a French like uh, a student project competition, and uh, this has had motivated us to submit the game to events, and we had been picked to be exhibited in uh, Cologne, in Germany, in a, uh, an so. exhibition that's called mm. no, it was the, it's a parallel to Gamescom. It's called the Not Games Festival, mm. and uh, this was the starting point of like. Uh, uh, setting things in motion. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> all... <laughs> All'inizio, quando abbiamo iniziato a creare appunto il prototipo, uh, la nostra motivazione era quella, eh, sarà quella di aggiungere un, pro un progetto di, da presentare al, al, al Gamescom di, di Colonia. E, e da lì tutto si è messo in game fest, go Sorry? The, the, the event is called the Not Games Festival. It's like, it's not uh, Gamescom, it's like more ah, for not, indie... Ah, Not Games. Uh, ok, Not yeah, Games. Yeah, Not Games. Not Games e, e event. E, e da lì poi è tutto iniziato. Ha preso piede, diciamo. Ha preso yeah. piede, sì. And okay. so, from that point on, uh, we moved along in the development with, like, boosted by the, <laughs> the boost motivation. We moved along <laughs> we in the development. We made a, like, yeah, we made a better version of our, uh, like, student project. And then that we submitted it to the, uh, at the time, the IGF student. Uh, and that was really, like, the turning point because we got an honorable mention uh, in 2014, IGF student. And then, uh, we kept doing this, like submitting what we had and, and working on the game, and that's when we really decided, like, okay, we're gonna make this for real. We're gonna, we, we had to see if we could, like, if we had the resources and stuff, and then we said, yeah, let, let's do it. Okay, um, da lì poi eh, della motivazione, ed è, abbiamo capito che da un, un semplice progetto di studenti è diventato qualcosa di serio, in particolar modo dopo che abbiamo ricevuto un. Um, uh, uh, sì, esatto, un riconoscimento nel, nel 2014 e ci siamo resi conto che, che stava davvero accadendo e stav stavamo realizzando davvero questo gioco. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, no. Next question, I think. No, give me some time because... Okay, I think that the, that the cold question belonged to me. So... Let's do it. I guess it's time. Okay, let's talk about Bokida, but from a technical point of view. What engine does it, does it run on, and what issues you had during the development? Uh, so the engine is uh, Unity 3D. Okay, yeah. Let's 
And uh, so the biggest, like early on, one of the biggest technical hurdles is that we knew we wanted to do some mesh cutting, like real time mesh cutting. Okay. And obviously, uh, this uh, was going to be a technical challenge. This and the fact that you had to you, or we wanted to allow the player to do this on like some kind of structures that once you cut them they would tumble down they would be like mm. wobbly like you can see in the game yeah. so that was the biggest like technical challenge and it was a technical challenge that was basically uh necessary for the game to even like take form because it was like the core of the game the motor grafico si chiama unity um la la sfida più grande è stata il, questo mesh cutting eh, e creare un ambiente in cui tagliando degli oggetti questi cadono e ci siano sì, vai, gestire il texture non era proprio la cosa più sì. facile di questo mondo esatto <ride> e che anche è il cuore del gioco quindi era importante <ride> and so we have like if you if you go to the the Rysko Republic YouTube channel, we have a video that shows the evolution of the prototype in the early beginnings. And there's a, an interesting uh, uh, part of the video when we, for the first time, we add the mesh cut to the game. Like we merged the two versions, we had the, the, structure, the building, like creating the structures of cubes, and once you cut the structure, you could see a branch fall down if it was disconnected from the ground that's, that's what I was talking about with the structures and we merged it with the mesh cut and you can see like there are all those weird like uh, uh, I know how to qualify them it's like a mess of cut stuff that's still glued together it's like very funny <laughs> okay um, andando sul possibile vedere uno un video dei primi tentativi di di, di applicare questo mesh cutting alle, alle strutture e praticamente in questo in quest esperimento si, vedono che, si vede che anche tagliando delle strutture queste praticamente rimangono insieme, incollate insieme non, non cadono a pezzi è un po' strano <ride> detto So eventually we got it, this all working uh, properly and then the new issue that arise that was a technical issue that's like uh, very important for the game still today is like okay so now we're doing like physics and like we can allow we allow the player to build and cut everything they want and so obviously at some point yeah. you have your computer that says fuck it i can't deal with it i'm done <laughs> goodbye <laughs> In terms of resources, we had to first, like, it was a big challenge to optimize all of this so you could do as much cutting as you would want to do and uh, still be able to have the game running properly. And then still we wanted not to constrain this, not to limit the ability, so we had to think of ways, like we have this mechanic where you can clear everything you've built or like the, the debris you've made in case your computer like slows down to a crawl. Uh, but eventually we decided with like keeping the liberty of doing as much as your computer allows you to do. And um, we this meant that we had to invest a lot of time in uh, making sure we optimize stuff as much as possible. So I think we can wreck up everything with polygon count is a bitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And phys <laughs> polygon count, no, that's okay, but physics with polygon yeah. counts, lots of polygons with lots of physics, that, that's when it starts to fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Ah, finally, sometimes I can understand this. Uh, in any case, uh, during the tent questi tentativi, dato che al giocatore viene data la, viene data la possibilità di di tagliare gli elementi era eh, arrivato a un certo punto in cui si tagliava praticamente tutto e il, il, computer, il computer impazziva è stato un tagliere molto dedicato per dire quello che ha detto si può dire eh, sì. creando nuovi poligoni a sé stanti praticamente il computer cominciava a diventare scemo allora hanno creato uno strumento di pulizia per cercare di alleggerire il numero di risorse a schermo che praticamente potrebbe salvare il vostro computer in una felice giornata estiva ecco questo Leonardo mi aiuta sul lato tecnico non ti preoccupare, ci penso io ok allora eh... so yeah, just 
that's a good time to say big up to our programmers because they did an awesome job. Okay. <laughs> and thanks to them that this uh, lots of technical challenges they were able to like uh, solve them. So we have to be very thankful. I <laughs> salute all the programmers that work, at, the developers that work at Tool. With Tubokita, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, oh, I think that one is here in the chat, maybe? I don't know. Yes, I saw him. Hi, Blocky. Again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm a smart person. Now, di chi è il turno? Uh, non lo so. Okay, now. Facciamo che è mio allora. Okay, yes. it's Peter's time. Okay. Uh, well, uh, artistically speaking, uh, with few elements uh, or artistical choices, uh, you gave a defined identity to the game universe, both from graphic and the sound per perspective. Uh, but what are your inspiration? Uh, and if you can tell us uh, some stories about uh, the art development, uh, of, uh, if you have. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, so maybe <laughs> I won't uh, speak about like all the uh, obscure <laughs> artistic <laughs> inspirations that were uh, there at the time of uh, uh, when we came up with like the, the artistic direction. But um, uh, in general, uh, it evolved uh, from uh, very early on from the few elements that we had and. Uh, the style of having the contrast between the colors of what you build and the st stark white background of it, that, that was the starting point. Ok, eh, il punto iniziale era creare questo contesto tra il bianco e il, um, e il colore degli elementi. Ovviamente non vorrei annoiarvi con gli oscuri segreti delle, da cui ho tratto ispirazione mm. artisticamente parlando and so in the beginning uh, we had this prototype that was very much like a toy only were uh, able to um, uh, just like create structures, cut them, push them have fun with that and gradually we're thinking um, we want to be able to do this like in a landscape, we want to be able to do this and to exist in a landscape by doing this. And so that's when we started thinking about, okay, uh, we're going to be uh, creating a world and we're going to be like creating like a vast world to explore. And so there's going to be lots of uh, like landscape in uh, landmarks, sorry, uh, like mountains and like maybe ruins, stuff like that. And um, that's the second evolution, uh, big evolution of the prototype after we had the, the basic idea of having the colors against a stark white background. It was the idea, okay, this is going to happen in the world and we have to make it like a world you can actually see on the horizon and go there. Mm. Um, mentre all'inizio avevamo soltanto degli oggetti che potevano essere tagliati o spostati, da lì siamo, uh, siamo, um, abbiamo poi uh, pensato di uh, creare un vasto mondo in cui, um, in cui poter, uh, inter con cui poter interagire e um, di inserire i colori che poi sono stati scelti alla fine. Quindi partendo da un dettaglio si sono spostati a creare un intero... Esatto. Mondo, chiamiamolo così. Un intero mondo, sì, da, dalle montagne, eccetera. Mm -hmm. so and, and then a big thing that was important for us, uh, that's key in why and how like we came to this defining look, is that there was this idea that it was going to be um, a lot of white, a few touches of black, because we were already thinking about implementing the grammar I was talking be about before, like the idea of having a clear visual language that uh, tells the player this is interactive, th there's something happening here which, with the black elements. And uh, the idea was so we have black and white, uh, predominant uh, white all over, and we want it to be white but warm. Like you, we want it, like you can see it right now on the screen, like want the feel of the sun, like a hot sun, a warm sun shining on all of it, mm. and the light had to convey uh, this sentiment. Ok, ehm, la nostra tira appunto da un uh, 
mondo eh, bianco e come ho detto già prima di avere gli di avere un, diciamo così, un linguaggio visuale che eh, permettesse agli utenti di capire che eh, erano gli oggetti in nero quelli con cui poteva interagire. E in ogni caso questo non è proprio un bianco bianco, ma vorremmo dare l'idea di un, um, di un paesaggio colpito da un sole, uh, da un sole caldo. E questo... <ride> That's yeah, and uh, and that's the last big evolution. Like, uh, at least that's the uh, final key as to how the game came to look this way. Because once we had uh, this uh, will uh, to create uh, to make a white world, but that would feel warm, uh, the rest of the visual um, vocabulary was developed. Uh, with the idea of making this e even more like, uh, 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 how do you say, I'm losing <laughs> my word, uh, even more like uh, legible, uh, ah. how do you, you, so that you can read it, like okay. you can okay. understand how it works. And so that's how we finalized the style with like thinking about the way the shadows were going to look, thinking about like outlighting the edges so that you could read The, the landscape, stuff like that. Quindi partendo dall'idea di creare un mondo uh, caldo che desse questa sensazione di calore, poi siamo arrivati a costruire uh, le ombre e altri particolari e rendere il mondo, diciamo così, più leggibile per il, uh, per il giocatore. And give it its final atmosphere, like uh, with the, the work with the sky, the work with the the clouds, stuff like that, uh, and then all the little things that, uh, for example, when you are in the, the black uh, dimension mm -hmm. and you have all those little particles or specks flying in the air, stuff like that, that would really, uh, once we had this stark opposition of black and white, uh, would give it sensuality, even though it's very, like, white or very black. <laughs> e così poi abbiamo aggiunto le nuvole e altri elementi ad esempio uh, quando si è un ambiente completamente nero c'è questa polvere bianca in, uh, che, che si vede e um, anche questo serve per, uh, per, dare queste, le, per trasmettere le sensazioni che, vole che volevamo appunto dare al pubblico questo senso di, come possiamo dire Leonardo? Di... Questo, contrasto, dire? questo contrasto esatto che non fosse così netto mm -hmm. ci sia sempre un po' di elemento dell'uno nell'altro sì. no? questa coesistenza ecco grazie Prego. Prego. <ride> ok questa è una facile a chi tocca I think it's my turn ok <ride> and that's an easy one so it's very yeah. <ride> we know the game will be released on pc Any future plan about a console, console version? And eventually, what are the difficulties about developing and publishing uh, on consoles? Well, for us, the first difficulty is you need dev kits, <laughs> and we don't have dev kits. So, no dev kits, no That's console version. That's a good version. answer, I think. <laughs> and also, also uh, uh, apart from the very practicality of having the need for dev kits if you want to publish on consoles. Uh, we also have like, we've always had uh, limited resources, like the team was, we were always working. Uh, we, it took us four years <laughs> to finish the game <laughs> <laughs> already, and that's just for PC. So there's also the issue that uh, yeah, it's yeah. like, if you want to do a console version, you have to dedicate time to do the porting. Mm -hmm. And uh, for it was not something that we necessarily had, uh, which is why we didn't uh, like seek to acquire dev kits. We'll see in the future if things changes. Uh, what we'll probably try to uh, prioritize over a console version would be a Mac version, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, in per sviluppare il gioco ci sono voluti comunque quattro anni, è stato un progetto lungo e dice che non ci hanno... Sì, praticamente per sviluppare sul console servono i dev kit, quindi... Sì, oh. e loro, non, loro non le hanno. 
in più si richiede anche molto tempo e soprattutto molte risorse, Molte risorse. Eh, il loro team è limitato in numero e sì, è un po' il classico problema di sviluppare su console purtroppo, non c'è quella libertà che puoi avere su, su PC. Comunque probabilmente se, se le cose andranno bene si prossimamente penseranno a... si concentreranno su Mac. Sì, capito. per coprire diciamo, entrambe le fasce eh, PC, diciamo così. Sì. Eh, questa qua diciamo che è parzialmente anche risposto alla prossima domanda, quindi direi che puoi fare anche sì. la prossima domanda. Yes, <ride> I think I, I answered the next question. Yeah, you <ride> are... <ride> Il multitasking probabilmente. La risposta è che posso riassumere, quindi eh, come risorse, beh, tutte quelle che avevano quanto ho capito, perché probabilmente il team era, era quello. Era, era molto risorse, ristretto, era molto ristretto. così come le risorse. E quanto riguarda tempo, diciamo che... Beh, Sono voluti quattro anni. Quattro anni. Four years. Yeah, exactly. Ok. And the resources, so the only thing I had on this is that uh, we were intent... Like, we didn't, we didn't um, uh, seek any... Uh, true funding for the game, so we never like uh, uh, had the uh, like to work on the budget, like to we were not paying ourselves and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it was really done on the on the the fact uh, that we were really like uh, short on resources, so that's why it also took four years to finish it. <laughs> Detto che comunque non hanno mai aperto una campagna che di crowdfunding e quindi si sono dovuti di adattare con le, risorse che, con le poche risorse che avevano ecco perché ci sono voluti quattro anni direi che la posso fare io mi piace un sacco questa domanda anche perché yeah. l'ho scritta personalmente oh. eh, non really likes this question yeah it's a very hard question I think that the answer will take a lot of time to be made you know and are you ready are you ready i'm ready i'm always ready <laughs> okay, okay th that sounds a little weird made by me but okay maybe <laughs> yes maybe i'll do it anyway so okay maybe it's just <clears throat> female instinct <laughs> okay, are you guys fan of Japan Russian culture in general, or is it just my feeling? Um, uh, maybe not like Japan in particular. What's for certain, like there was an influence uh, from Korea uh, because uh, on the team we have ties uh, with Korea. Uh, actually, there's uh, the lead of the team is now living in Korea, uh, so uh, that's a pretty strong tie. <laughs> You see? You But see? not Japan uh, directly, more like yeah, more, more through Korea. Ah. Ok, eh, più che il Giappone eh, ci siamo ispirati alla Corea anche perché il leader del nostro team attualmente vive in Corea. Uh, quindi non, non tanto il Giappone. Mm. And so, so um, this influence like is very it's subtle and things like uh, Uh, some elements you will find in the game, like some models, like three models of some kind of environmental details, uh, they are inspired by uh, some, uh, uh, for example, burial places, like traditional burial places in Korea and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but uh, the more obvious connection is in the text and the voice acting. The, The, the planet speaks in Korean, um, uh, which again echoes to more to Korea than to Japan. And um, it's actually from there that also uh, we investigated uh, the influences that uh, led to uh, this, the, the references for writing the story of the game. Sì, è possibile notare alcuni elementi coreani nel gioco come ad esempio ripresi da, da vecchi edifici o comunque in alcuni particolari ri, ri, riprendono la, la Corea. La, ciò che può essere visto maggiormente sono sicuramente 
le, le scritte e Beh, la voce che sì. è comunque una voce coreana ora solo questa cosa e... pensavo sulla lingua inventata perché è fantastico <ride> e... sì quindi più la Corea che il Giappone so. to be honest my girlfriend listens to a lot of Korean music so now I think that you can get along with that <laughs> Uh, and there's also um, the like if I um, elaborate on what I was saying about the story. So uh, the story is influenced by Taoism, uh, and uh, the what led us to investigate, to research uh, uh, Taoism, and eventually to realize that it would make a lot of sense to um, uh, actually uh, draw inspiration from it. Uh, for the game was the that we uh, elaborating on the fact that we were using references to uh, uh, Korean traditional culture for the chapters of the game which are named after like the seasons of a traditional uh, calendar uh, we investigated traditional like uh, uh, culture in the sense of like a faith uh, the the origins of beliefs Uh, how they spread also in Korea and that's how we uh, investigated Taoism and, that, and eventually it's uh, a big element that we included in the game in the end. Mm. Um, il gioco come è possibile vedere al presente alcuni elementi provenienti dal taoismo e hanno il, il team ha fatto delle ricerche uh, su, appunto sulla, sulle, um, sulla fede, sui, sulle credenze, come queste si sono and- andate uh, a diffondere nel paese e, um, vabbè, e so, queste sono state incluse nel gioco ed è, ed è possibile notarle. They did their homework. Oh, yeah. They did their homework, yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you, pa- you passed your exam at the university. <laughs> we'll see on the 17th if that's true or not. <laughs> okay. Now. I, th- I think that's my turn because uh, he's having some problems. Uh, Paolo. Pietro? Yeah. Pietro, Pietro, sorry. Okay. He's w- having some problems. To, I don't know. Why. Peter, as we call him, Pietro died. Okay. It's, I think his computer died. Uh, and then he died too with the explosion of his computer. Yeah. So I think that it's Evie's turn. Let me update the question for you. Yeah. So. Okay. What's your thought about the European independent gaming movement? Uh, that, that's a big question, like, yeah. like we have <laughs> brought I think we could talk about for our one hour. <laughs> <laughs> that, but... Let me tell you what I think about the European yeah, Union. Yeah, tell the woman what you think. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, right, uh, no, but to, <laughs> to be you know, less extravagant, uh, um, we, like, uh, being in Europe and having the opportunity to showcase the game, um, in Europe in several events, uh, it definitely gives you a sense of having a, a variety of developers, uh, of independent developers specifically, um, who are uh, making games in Europe. Uh, but I don't know if we have like a special connection ourselves to it. Mm. Mm. Um, dice che comunque in Europa è, è stato presentato per la prima volta, per le sue prime fasi di sviluppo e ci sono, molt- ci sono diverse realtà indipendenti in Europa, ma non, uh, non credi che ci siano delle connessioni con loro? Leonardo, aiutami. Sì, 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 praticamente non. Eh, sì. Diciamo che Forse non c'è di... collaborazione, vorrei intendere. Diciamo mm. che il mercato indie è molto particolare, puoi trovare da persone che cercano di fare progetti seri come hanno fatto loro alle classiche progetti della domenica spacciati per mega capolavori. Mm-hmm. And so the reason why I say it's difficult for us to uh, 
uh, claim that we are like part of the movement or whatever. <laughs> it's because also um, uh, the way our team is organized, we were working a lot uh, long distance, for example. <laughs> when uh, in 2015, like we were uh, working, I was in California, Arno was in Korea, and, and the rest of the team was uh, in Europe. And so there was actually like a 17 hour time difference between me on one side and Arno on the other side and the others in the middle. And so obviously <laughs> that uh, meant that uh, uh, we had to organize uh, around this, but also it meant that we were not uh, exactly anchored in a place. And uh, obviously uh, <laughs> this means that we didn't develop a particular connection during those years uh, with the local community in Europe. <laughs> okay. Dice che non, non si sentono parte del movimento eh, indipendentista videoludico europeo, anche perché ci sono stati momenti come nel 2015 dove lui era in California, altri ragazzi erano in, in Corea e, e c'erano un c'era una, una differenza di orario di 17 ore di, di fuso orario quindi ehm, non si sentono tanto legati ad, ad un posto e eh, all'Europa sì. non to say that we like exclude ourselves de facto but, uh, si sono esclusi dal, dal movimento <laughs> yeah. still, uh, you get yourself out <laughs> no exactly we're not like <laughs> because uh, actually we benefit from the ecosystem ourselves. Uh, like I was saying, uh, just from being in events. So for example, uh, very recently we were in, uh, in April, like late April, we were showcasing the game. We were like in the, the, one of the nominees in the Amaze Festival in Berlin. And that's always also nice. It plays a part uh, similar to what we were saying before uh, with the awards is that Uh, having the opportunity to get to those events and to uh, be surrounded by other independent developers, or European independent developers, it also helps to nurture uh, everyone because it gives a space where you are like encouraged to keep working, to keep doing stuff. It's very motivating and inspiring. So it's even if we're like uh, we didn't uh, develop particularly our connection to it. Uh, it's still very important to have an independent European movement, like you call it. Um, hanno partecipato comunque, hanno presentato il gioco anche a Berlino e hanno avuto l'occasione di conoscere uh, altre persone che fanno parte di, di quello che chiamiamo noi, appunto, questo movimento videoludico indipendente europeo. E, e credono comunque che questo debba svilupparsi. E c'è anche qualcosa non erdo? No, bene o male questo qua è il suo messaggio che comunque nonostante loro non abbiano magari partecipato attivamente in maniera costante c'è comunque una, una realtà che si sta sviluppando in Europa magari loro viaggiando più spesso in America, in Corea, comunque in Asia in generale c'è un movimento forse più diciamo ben definito qui da noi ci stiamo, stiamo meglio i primi passi forse mm. ok, credo che Pietro sia tornato Okay. Are you with us, Pietro? No, I feel like not. He's not. <laughs> he's still not back. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's still dead. Eh, quindi credo che tocchi di nuovo a me. Allora. Yeah. Okay, let's just give me a second to update everything. Pietro is dead, so we will cry for him later. Okay, that's an easy question because, well, he's... Is Rice Cooker Republic your daily reality or do you have other jobs? Hello. That's not a question ah. for you, Pietro. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm back. can you hear me <laughs> now? Yeah, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> He is back. But you lost your time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, as, okay, I'll repeat my question because Peter ruined him. Uh, that was my uh, moment. Uh, Interrupted I, I can you. hear you, but you can't hear me. Uh, I hear the question. Okay. So, the question, <laughs> and this, this okay. is all a little bit weird, but okay, we are going longer the same. Uh, and that's the third time I repeat my question, but I think that it will make more, it will create suspense for the answer. Is Rice Cooker Republic your daily reality or do you have other jobs? 
Uh, we have uh, other jobs. It depends uh, who you're talking about on the team, actually, because some on the team uh, were full time uh, on the project. Uh, some are still or still on a full time on the project, and some were doing several different stuff along the development because uh, along the four years since it's followed with us uh, graduating from school basically from a uh, game design school mm-hmm. um, it uh, uh, had to uh, uh, we had to work on the game and we had to find a way to uh, organize ourselves alongside what we were doing uh, following the fact that we were like uh, done with the school <laughs> or not done with school actually mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Lui ha un, uh, un, un lavoro oltre a, cook, a rice cooker, but, uh, ma, sorry, scusate, <ride> mi sto confondendo, <ride> ma dipende da, uh, detto dipende da chi lo chiedete, perché mh, ci sono alcune persone coinvolte che hanno lavorato a tempo pieno sul gioco. Uh, in ogni caso, è un progetto che ha preso piede, comunque si sono hanno lasciato la scuola, hanno finito la scuola e quindi si sono dovuti, eh, diciamo così, si sono dovuti scontrare nella realtà e quindi anche lavorando al gioco hanno dovuto, eh, hanno dovuto cer- trovare un modo per mantenersi. Mm, <ride> diciamo che questa è l'idea. Sì. Makes sense. Ma in ogni caso dipende a chi lo chiedete, ha detto, perché ci sono alc- anche altre persone che attualmente stanno ancora lavorando a tempo pieno sul gioco. Okay. Now, let's see if Peter is alive so he can take his turn back. Yes, <laughs> I have to take back my place, so it's my turn. <laughs> okay, why not? Uh, okay, uh, let's talk about uh, competitors. Uh, what are your favorite games uh, and which one uh, do you play the most in general? So, of course, I'm gonna be like part isn't here because uh, <laughs> I'm the only one from the team here so I can speak about my favorite games okay. <laughs> I think okay, okay. those are everyone it's good uh, but uh, among my favorite games so uh, one for me uh, so it's very uh, uh, subjective but uh, one of my favorite games of all times is Half-Life 2 and uh, another one another big one for me is Journey <laughs> Oh. And which is uh, uh, something that's uh, uh, saying about uh, why we are making like exploration open <laughs> games like this, maybe. But yeah, makes sense to, as a choice. Ha detto, non so gli altri, ma parlerò per me stesso. Ha eh, detto che um, i giochi, i suoi giochi preferiti sono Half-Life 2 e, e Journey. E ha detto anche, forse si vede un po' dell'influenza di Johnny in questo, in questo <ride> videogioco per quanto riguarda l'esplorazione, sì, il, il, l'open world, eccetera. Questo grande ambiente. Io posso dire che i suoi teammates giocano molto di Barbie Super Mario. No, ok. Ciao. Do you have to play online too, you know, as a classic gamer, o do you just prefer single player, maybe later? No, uh... Um, so, uh, myself, uh, currently, I'm not uh, playing uh, online games because uh, uh, I haven't um, uh, spent the time, like, I haven't had the time to really get involved. Usually, online games, if you want to play them, you have to uh, dedicate uh, some time to it, otherwise it's, like, pointless because you're not, uh, you don't have the ability to perform and so it's not very interesting. Uh, but um, uh, because I've been playing, uh, I've been playing uh, one of the big, a big game for me, like a game uh, I have. Uh, uh, I'm very passionate about. The, it's like a, a game that has a place in my heart. Is a World of Warcraft, which I've played for a very long time. Uh, but uh, like in the past year, I have barely played it at all because <laughs> I have no time to play. <laughs> so you, you move from playing World of Warcraft to probably the, the whole day to don't play at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. I was thinking the whole day <laughs> in the game. Dice che comunque ha detto che comunque non ha purtroppo non ha il tempo di giocare, uh, in particolare gli online 
giochi online richiedono una volta che entri devi stare per un po' di costanza, tempo eh sì, sì esatto richiedono costanza per poter ah, andare base, avanti eh, direi, visto che giocavo sì. World of Warcraft hai detto che nei, nei gio- giorni peggiori giocava World of Warcraft <ride> anche se adesso non riesce a giocarci praticamente yeah I'm very fond of my time with this day and once I have more time I'm gonna go back to it I don't have any shame about liking this game I imagine you like Today, I'm a, d- a game developer in Night, I'm a, a World of Warcraft a <laughs> game, <laughs> like a Batman identity. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that far, but uh, <laughs> you I have a, a, at least I have a very, uh, yeah, I have a, oh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, but, I uh, want to, I, yeah, go on. <laughs> Bello questo, why can't but, I do? Eh, ho sbagliato a dire, a... scusatemi, World of Warcraft, sorry, my, my, yeah. my mistake. <laughs> And uh, of course, I'm going to stress again that I'm, it's not representative. Like, I'm the one in the team that's the most single, made from one of the most single player games oriented. Like, I, I don't play a lot of competitive games. Mm. Uh, I don't play uh, a lot of competitive FPSs, for example. Whereas on the team, there are uh, several people like really lo- love those games. I don't play even. Uh, Uh, like uh, MOBAs or stuff like that. Mm. I I played a little bit, uh, but uh, I'm not a big player of these games, which is not representative of the majority of the team. <laughs> like the kinds of games I, lo- I play. Detto che comunque nel, nel team forse lui è la persona che gioca di più ai giochi single player. Uh, mentre gli altri sono più orientati verso FPS o comunque giochi multiplayer uh, come ad esempio Lorella, Lorella, uh, Michael Wright, uh, a cui piacciono questi tipi di, di giochi. Uh, qualcos'altro da aggiungere? So, because, for example, like I'm a, I'm a big fan of walking simulators. <laughs> I know that not no. everyone likes walking simulators, like... Uh, One of the best games for me, like last year, was Soma, was uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, oh. And I know these are not the, <laughs> the most action packed of games, but those are the <laughs> games <that> I like. Dato che a lui piacciono i Walking Simulator, Peter is a great fan of Walking Simulator. Yeah, I like to. Ah, nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Uh, everybody's gone to the Rapture too. I played uh, recently and I'd like to. Ah, uh, good. That's a good game. Play yeah. Everybody's gone to the Rapture. Eh, comunque non, non è molto su- but mostly play Bok- Bokida. Okay, guys. Play Bokida. No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not out yet. So while you wait, you can play for Everybody's gone to the Rapture. And on May 17, you drop everything <laughs> and you play Bokida. Yeah, and you play yeah. Bokida. Uh, I, I think we can move to the next question. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Okay, just give me And a... it is my turn. Is it my turn? I think. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, if you could change something about Bokida before its release, what would, would it be? But you can still answer that it's perfect the way it is. Uh, it's never perfect. That's the, the thing. When you create something, <laughs> it's never perfect, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is when you develop a game for a long time, like uh, when you reach the end of development, you have all of these ideas that come to you of things you could do, and you're like, yeah, but we have no time. <laughs> we know, we already know, we already cut stuff because we know we won't have time to finish them and all this. And so <laughs> it's very like frustrating because you have all those great ideas and stuff you could do, you could add to the game, but. Uh, You also know that you are at a point in development where it's it's enough, like it's done adding stuff to the game. You have to <laughs> actually finish what you have <laughs> first and maybe after that you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Ha detto che comunque il gioco non è mai perfetto e siamo arrivati al... Cioè, si è arrivato a un punto quando il gioco è completo in cui si hanno un sacco di idee ma non si ha il tempo per realizzarle o meglio che si vorrebbero aggiungere ma 
si finirebbe mai e quindi uh, deve, yeah. uno deve porre anche un freno diciamo. eh, e quindi anche se sono fantastiche de- non hanno il tempo di, di, metterle, di realizzarle non, non ce la farebbero Okay. Seems like it's my turn again, and it's a question yeah. which we probably already have an answer, but why not? Okay, <laughs> just give me a second, like always, to update the questions. Meanwhile, you can sing for us with me, or maybe not. La la la. Okay, <laughs> nice. We obtained three notes, guys. Three notes. This, yeah. this, this is a step. That's the furthest I'll go, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new step. <laughs> no further. Okay, let's not no. move further than this. <laughs> but we can... No, I said no further. <laughs> no. Well, okay, okay. Okay, Vincent, and that's for you, but you probably already answered. So, what's in the future of Rice Cooker Republic? I don't know, don't know how much can be added to Bokida. Is the game going to be supported with new contents later? Are you already working on a new game? Or maybe in the next summer you are just going to sit and, rela- and relax? So we answered a bit of that before when we talked about Rise to Republic because mm-hmm. uh, I said like uh, uh, as like uh, it's not an actual like studio or anything it's just a name for for the team uh, and we are not working on another game uh, and uh, uh, after Bukida search and uh, relative to the content that we would add to the game like at the moment <laughs> we're still uh, worried about like uh, finishing up mm-hmm. everything so <laughs> mostly like we're focused on uh, for example adding uh, 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 extra localizations to the game like it will mm-hmm. be uh, already available in a, a variety of languages uh, upon release but there are a couple languages that we don't have time to do for release so we'll fetch them in later Uh, in terms of content uh, to the game, to add to the game, there's no definite answer on that. It's something we need, like, maybe more time to have the visibility to be able to say uh, mm-hmm. if we'll have the, the opportunity to uh, eventually add a few stuff, but it won't be, like, uh, another entire chapter or whatever. It's not going to be DLC. <laughs> We're going to have, like, the DLC we have uh, for real, like, the, the soundtrack. You, you can buy the soundtrack. <laughs> okay. um, allora, uh, per il momento si stanno concentrando su, sulla localizzazione del gioco, quindi aggiungere nuove lingue, e anche se non, hanno, non avranno il tempo di aggiungerne un paio che saranno uh, incluse successivamente la data del rilascio. E per quanto riguarda DLC, probabilmente soltanto la, la soundtrack verrà, verrà resa disponibile, per, quindi sarà possibile acquistarla. E altri DLC per adesso non hanno una risposta definitiva, sì, si, certo. saprà, si, si saprà più in là, perché ah, ancora devono pensarci. Nel che come si può vedere più o meno dai video, la lingua italiana è già inclusa. Se non ricordo male verrà completamente introdotta, al momento è solo a livello parziale, Pietro aiutami tu su questo. Sì, 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 confermo. Eh, però bene o male i dialoghi e testi dovrebbero essere più o meno già tutti tradotti. Sì, quasi tutti e... tradotti e ottimamente tradotti, aggiungo. <ride> tu parli coreano? E... Infine, non, non è previsto un capitolo per la storia, sarebbe... Sarebbe assurdo. Mm. Cioè, ha senso. Cioè, per questo, infatti, mm. volevo chiedere. Ok. Uh, the next question is on, I think, Pietro. Ok. Is. Uh, uh, okay. No, vado io, vado io. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, uh, let's say, all they need to know about Bokida. Uh, platform, uh, release date, uh, price tag, uh, if you want to tell us the world preview. <laughs> I will do the preview if you want. <laughs> uh, so the game uh, releases Wednesday, May 17. Um, it's going to be available on Steam and Game Jolt um, for release, but it's probably going to be available on uh, other platforms a bit later on. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the, the exclusive uh, price tag is going to be. $17.99. Um, yeah. Now we have the info 
ahead of time, like two days before. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so, and the the soundtrack would be about uh, I think eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Yes, yeah, it's, a, um, it's an average price, I think. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the 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 gist of the info. Okay, okay. il gioco. Is- il gioco verrà pubblicato uh, mercoledì. Correggimi, sì, sì, uh, dammi una mano perché non... Sì, 17. 17, sì. okay. non, lo, non l'avevo sentito bene. Verrà pubblicato su Steam e pro- magari più in là verrà anche pubblicato su altre piattaforme. Il prezzo sarà di 17, a quanto ho capito. 17,99. 17, 17, in esclusiva mondiale, vorrei dire. Forse. <ride> sì. <ride> 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 Sono trasprese? <ride> okay. okay, abbiamo rovinato la sorpresa. We spoiled our Quasi surprise. Quasi mondiale. Yeah. E anche la soundtrack sarà, probabilmente avrà un prezzo di 18 dollari. 18,99. Ah, 8,99, scusate. 8,99, right? For the soundtrack. Yes. Ok. Eight. okay. We try to stall 10 euros. Say 8,99. <ride> <laughs> We are, that's, a, that's, that's a nice price to hike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think that now we are really close to the easy ones because they're just. Reminded. We are close to the end, yeah, of the. Can you talk to Signorina? Yes. Would you like to tell uh, everyone your social pages? <laughs> no. Okay. 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 No advertisement. No. no so, um, so, like uh, I said, uh, uh, we have of course a Facebook, a Twitter. So Facebook is uh, Bukida. Uh, Twitter is at Bukida Game, and uh, we also have the game on uh, up on Game Jolt, where you're gonna also be able to purchase it if you want to purchase it on Game Jolt rather than Steam. Mm. If you like more about indies, yeah, to support the indies, <laughs> you yeah. can do that. We're talking uh, about the I guess. Uh, yes, nothing, uh, that. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, it's a good thing, <laughs> but also it's like not to feed the the behemoth too much. Like uh, it's like a counter power. <laughs> That way you don't uh, give uh, your work to the rich guy already, you, you help out other indies and stuff like that because Game Show helps mm. um, indies get visibility as well, so it's good to uh, support them. Uh, so yeah, uh, Facebook, Twitter and, uh, and Game Show. Quindi se è possibile trovare la pagina, ovviamente la pagina da Facebook uh, Buki, di Bokida, anche l'account Twitter è Bokida di Bokida Uh, yeah, ed è possibile trovare il gioco anche su Game Joe eh, dove è possibile trovare anche altri indie giochi supportate i giochi indipendenti mi raccomando okay, penso, <ride> eh, ringraziamo la nostra regia sta comunque comunicando i vari link sulla chat di Twitch li troverete lì e in ogni caso linkeremo poi quando questa intervista andrà su YouTube tutto quello che serve sapere per quanto riguarda social pages eh, ah, ok anche Vincent sta... I'm doing it while you're talking. <laughs> ok, I'll buy you some time. E, e quindi praticamente ci sono tante pagine. In più, a quanto pare, c'è Game Jolt, fantastico, che è un altro store dove potete sì. comprare il, il gioco. E praticamente Game Jolt aiuta molto di più i... Eh, I sviluppatori esatto, indipendenti, sì. E... Quindi comprateli da lì. Do you need more time, Vincent? I can still go. Uh, quindi... No, it's, it's okay, we, we have everything. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, we have two Twitters even. even. Like, Because if you yeah. want, you can uh, publish your comments two times on two Twitters, even. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> you can reach more, more visibility. More you visibility. can share the news about the release twice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, I think that we reach... Oh, the... yeah, I, I know what I can... I, I forgot to put the, the link to the Steam store. Yeah. I made also a QR code you you're going to see when this all ends. But yeah, it could be useful. 
So yeah, in, so yeah, it's not that I would say it's in Italian. Please. You said that <laughs> I think four times in one minute. <laughs> it's a record, it's a world record. Quindi yeah. lo vedremo sia su Game Yacht sia ovviamente su Steam. E che vabbè, è praticamente la loro pagina principale verrà pubblicata poi, come dicevo, sul video di YouTube e lo troverete anche alla fine attraverso il QR code. Se avete un cellulare sbattetelo sul vostro schermo o forse aprite un'app che può leggere il QR code e verrete portati lì direttamente. Okay. Um, l'ultima cosa chi è chi tocca? Oh, tocca a me chiudere tocca a te Leo okay. tocca a te emozionante I am the last question I, oh, I kid, okay. so let's close with a major message message for the Italian community and the friends or even the enemy of serial gamer <laughs> <laughs> do we have enemies? yeah okay. Okay. everyone has enemies <laughs> <laughs> lurking in the shadows you know Striking in the light. Is that a song or I just made it right now? Oh, no, you can. There, there, there has to be a song. There has to be many songs. <laughs> and you can find it in the Bogita soundtrack. No, maybe not. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe not. Can you imagine this? The start of the game with this song, with me drinking from a water bottle. Why do you want the, pro- the project to fail? I don't know, I want to improve the quality, the overall quality of the game with missing and okay. without knowing what the hell I'm talking about. So yeah, well, going back to the question, do you have a message for the serial gamer and the Italian community in general? Oh, Please I, answer I, I, no. I, I really love it if you say no. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Sure. The, the proof of this is that we we worked extra hard to make sure like the Italian uh, version yeah. of Lucida would be ready for release and we managed to pull it off. We were not sure we would be able to complete it in time, but we completed it. So you will have a Bukida in Italian for release uh, uh, the day after tomorrow. That, that's that's yeah. something we really appreciate. And as Peter said, the translation was also a quality yes. one. Very, very good. I oh, confirm. really? Good. Yeah, yeah. So I know yeah, we, <laughs> the, I the thing is, uh, when you're working with people on translations for languages that you're know, not <laughs> very good at, it's yeah. difficult to tell. To appreciate <laughs> their job, to trust, yeah. Well, you have to trust them, like to trust their professionalism and to <laughs> trust the pick that you made to work with them. Uh, because they looked like they were gonna be, they were gonna do a good job and be like, okay, I guess <laughs> they did a good do job. Do you on this translation? I don't know. <laughs> allora, uh, comunque, uh, hanno lavorato tanto. Uh, yeah, so sorry, I, I will just. Oh, no, go ahead, maybe if you have to translate this, I don't know. Uh, hanno lavorato solo il gioco e, e per quanto riguarda la community italiana, hanno cercato di, di rendere disponibile all'uscita anche la, il gioco anche nella lingua italiana. Come ha già detto Pietro, la traduzione è davvero, davvero ottima e, e anche e Vincent ci stava ringraziando per questo feedback anche perché no. quando lavori con i traduttori è difficile <ride> sapere la qualità del, del loro lavoro dato che non conosci la lingua in cui stanno traducendo si potrebbe anche essere che tanto affidare non sa parlare in italiano la loro... magari, <ride> magari, 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 magari scoprire tutto questo ma in realtà no, da quello che ho visto pure era molto la, l'adattamento forse era molto ben fatto quindi non so se l'ha fatto una sì, lingua italiana molto. o mm. oh, cosa We were saying that the... Maybe yeah, it was made with Google Translate? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I hope not, because given like uh, some of the, the, the ambiguous meanings of some of the texts uh, for the studies, for example, like it talks about um, uh, Taoism and stuff like that, Uh, <laughs> if you try to Google Translate, mm. uh, I think you're going to have some surprises. Uh, you, should, you should make the Google Translation version of the game. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, that's, that's actually it would be fun. <laughs> like, a, a DLC with, with Google yeah. Translation. I would like Google to see all the stuff changes with a Google Translation. Because I think it's going to be fun. Right. The Google Translate edition of the game. I, I, just got, I just give you an idea for a DLC, you see? <laughs> No, stavamo parlando della traduzione che è molto ben fatta ed è necessaria soprattutto perché alcune frasi sono ambigue e stavamo scherzando su una possibile traduzione DLC. Tutto scherzando, io lo so. 
Sì, <ride> su una sì, possi- sì. possibile di, di recidere della traduzione di Bokida by Google Translate. Uh, sarà, sarà bello vedere come cambia la storia con la traduzione di un computer. <ride> Yeah, but being serious, thank you for the Italian localization is not something you find every time. Also because it's yeah. sometimes I think that it's expensive to have uh, an Italian translation or is just my opinion? I, I don't know if it's, uh, at least in our case, um, what helps is that uh, if we had a lot of uh, uh, voice acting, uh, yeah, probably yeah. it would be mm. less like it would cost more mm-hmm. but actually like the italian translation is not more expensive than the other translations like it's uh, yeah. basically it's okay. for Maybe. all the versions in all the languages we have pro- approximately the budget was the same to try to get the, the localization done mm. so uh, i don't know why there are no yeah, not, it, uh, like not it more. depends on who you ask for the translation i mean maybe the italian official translators are a little more Uh, maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> you have to tell me Lo this, so. man. Okay, yeah, tell you. ringraziando il team per aver comunque reso disponibile il gioco all'uscita anche in italiano, il che non avviene molto molto spesso. E abbiamo chiesto anche per se magari ciò non accade perché i costi di traduzione in italiano sono maggiori e ci ha risposto che mh, non è nel nostro non in, nel loro caso, anche perché non avevano molti dialoghi. Probabilmente avere, avendo più dialoghi sarebbe stato più difficile da, da realizzare la cosa. Ma il budget era comunque lo stesso per uh, tutte le lingue. Maybe it's also, yeah, maybe it's also, it's also a thing about, uh, depending on where you are in Europe or like, uh, where your team is located. Because, for example, I realized like, we don't have a Dutch translation of mm. the game. Mm. And uh, I know, like, uh, if she, uh, I was noticing on the package or something, I don't know what it was, like I was holding a package that was in several languages, and I realized, oh, I think it was like some kind of a manual, an instruction manual. I realized, like, they have in the uh, 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 Dutch, and uh, I realized that, oh, yeah, we, we didn't think of including Dutch. <laughs> Uh, strangely in the... Oops! <laughs> no, but I mean, we, we obviously we didn't do all the languages either, but I mean, yeah. um, it's interesting to me, like, depending on where you are, like, uh, uh, probably the sensibilities also play a role in uh, uh, which one you will uh, uh, add to the game first and which one maybe you'll add later. Because, for example, uh, we did we couldn't get Chinese or Japanese ready on time and so we'll put them in later and maybe we'll put also Dutch in later but uh, I was just uh, like bouncing off what we were saying about Italian maybe not always being included depending on the sensibility of the team working on the project. And uh, yeah, Italian is also an art language and maybe a lot of Italian doesn't understand English so yeah, you, you have to go after them with the Italian translation or if not they won't play the game. That's a hard part for us to understand, but yeah. Stava dicendo Vincent che forse la, la, le, renderà disponibile l'uscita la traduzione in italiano dipende dalla sensibilità del, del team. E, ti stava anche dicendo che senza volerlo ovviamente si sono dimenticati tra virgolette la, la traduzione al tedesco non, non ci hanno pensato e... <ride> no, in... non ci hanno pensato ma probabilmente è una cosa che a, a cui rimedieranno <coughs> in uh, futuro e... e che all'uscita non sarà disponibile la, la traduzione in, in giapponese e in cinese ma verrà aggiunta in secondo momento comunque ha detto che questo dipende molto dalla sensibilità del team e dove si trovano e... <laughs> I like I, how the topic moved to localization problems. Yeah, <laughs> because we're talking about like, uh, like uh, addressing the Italian community and then we derive into localization. <laughs> oh, But I wanted to, of course, uh, thank you also for uh, inviting us uh, on the stream. Uh, and also, like, uh, over the years, um, Uh, we also have a sensibility for the, the Italian audience, I think, because over the years we've had several times like interactions with like 
Italian websites would feature the game, and mm. uh, also um, uh, there was a couple of like uh, uh, small spaces dedicated to indie games in it in Italy, where uh, a couple of times like the uh, we were reached out to uh, to provide a build of the game to mm. show in those spaces when we were still in, like uh, quite early in development, and so. Um, uh, like we have a, a also a connection with the community in Italy uh, thanks to that eh, dice che probabilmente hanno pensato ci voleva ringraziare e probabilmente hanno italiano anche per diversi rapporti con altri uh, siti italiani e anche perché uh, sono stati contattati per partecipare per presentare delle build del, del loro del loro progetto nei, negli anni passati a diversi eventi e forse è per questo che hanno una connessione più forte con uh, i giocatori italiani <ride> okay. uh, if, if there are no many questions no more questions I don't know yeah I think that the message for Italia that is that we care about you we care about you <laughs> of course <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's nice to see that there is um, this interest from the Italy for the gaming developers and also from the website to the gaming developers, indie game developers, you know. Uh, it's still yeah. a reality that uh, needs to be recognized, I think that's the English for. How do you say I'm sorry? I think that they still like... Uh, okay, for see. Ah, uh, the... Okay, the... Yeah, the, <laughs> you say in English. I'll try to say Italian, maybe it is more. Yeah, it's not going to translate. In some way, it's a reality that still needs to be recognized. Recognition. Yeah, recognition. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we are moving to step, small steps to this goal. And well, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Is, uh, how is the, the independent community, like independent developers community, organized in Italy? Are Come there like events dedicated to indie games? A lot of events dedicated. Come è organizzata la community, la community italiana di giochi indipendenti? Ci sono degli eventi Ma dedicati? Sai, ce ne dovrebbero essere. Ci sono anche molte società italiane che si occupano di publishing e di public relations. There are a lot of uh, companies that are involved with public relations. But not like. Um... Um, not a lot of uh, independent uh, studios and stuff like that. Non ci sono molti studi indipendenti. Dipende da come possiamo. Okay, si è trasformata in intervista, ma che figata. Dipende da cosa intendiamo <laughs> per molti. Comunque ci sono dei. <laughs> a double interview. Exactly. Eh, yeah. sì, ci sono anche degli studi validi italiani, e di cui uno, vabbè, non facciamo nomi perché siamo ancora sotto embargo, di cui uno di cui stiamo provando titoli anche adesso. There are. There are. Uh... Ci sono anche più oggi, quindi. Sì. There are different um, different uh, independent studios here actually in uh, in Italy. Continua. Yeah, uh, continua, Leonardo. Eh, niente, alcuni di loro magari sono più a livello amatoriale, quindi provano a fare dei titoli così. Io li chiamo i progetti della domenica, quelli che vabbè, li fai, però non c'è un lungo futuro. Altri invece sono studi seri che hanno traduce letteralmente non le palle sotto e, e prima o poi sponderanno sul mercato e molti, molti stanno uscendo anche su Steam quindi there are some there are some studios that are really uh, that are working on really serious project and other studios that unlike them work on easy project let's say let's call that uh, them in, in this way uh, Leonardo calls them the <laughs> the Sunday project <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> sì, più che altro è anche difficile capire quali team sono italiani, a volte noi lo scopriamo tipo un mese dopo. Ah, que quello è un team di italiani, fantastico, perché ci hanno parlato in inglese? Ma a parte questo. But in some times it's even difficult to to understand that the people are involved in in a in a, in a studio are Italians. We all we sometimes find out that they are Italians after months oh, that we yeah. have met them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a little awkward, but okay. It happens. Ok, uh, I think credo che siamo alla fine, Leo, sì, forse dovremmo saltare. I think we are at the end of the, of the conversation. Fine. Okay. Well, fine. I want to thank you for being part of this, of this awkward moment. 
or this week on it, where we, where we talked about Bokida and also other stuff, especially in the last part. And <laughs> also, I would like to thank uh, Lin, Lina, I don't know if to pronounce it, Lina, Lina Luray. Yeah, Lina. Yeah. Okay, for the communication between us. And well, I think that I leave Evie to conclude the whole interview with something nice. Say something nice, Evie. Um, I can't. I can't say something nice. I don't know how. how but uh, anyway, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But let's be serious. Very, very. Thank you for your participation in our live interview, and we are looking forward to 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 have your games uh, on Wednesday for in a couple of days, so, uh, <laughs> and to try it. <laughs> thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, it was a pleasure to be. Uh, able to do this in uh, this live interview. Um, That's why it's live. So yeah, thank. Thank you very much for this for this live interview, for this interview live that you have permitted. Ok, direi che quindi siamo arrivati al momento delle conclusioni. Abbiamo parlato un po' di Bokita, se vi siete fatti un'idea, buon per voi. Altrimenti Pietro a breve pubblicherà la recensione, gli spezzeremo le gambe. Confermo tutto. Recensione. E niente, troverete questa live. Sicuro avrà un voto largamente positivo comunque. Perché okay, questo tradurrei a Vincent così Mari non viene ad ammazzarlo. Yeah. In, a, in a couple of days, you will. In a couple of Sono days. minacciato, no, non è vero. <ride> You in a couple of days you will have our review and it's a positive one. He wants to anticipate <laughs> that. Otherwise you, uh, but we he don't... just doesn't want me to punch him, that's why <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. We don't want you to punch uh, our, our friend. Not yet. We are not usually that violent, usually a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm not the one who suggested the punching in the first place. <laughs> yeah, it was a Leo who suggested that, <laughs> and I agree on him, with him. Okay, so, anyway. Tornando un attimo serio, come ricordiamo, questo video sarà pubblicato su YouTube, pubblicheremo lì tutti quanti i link, allo eh, store, a tutto quanto. Insomma, l'avrò detto 40 volte, quindi direi che possiamo anche chiudere qui. Un ringraziamento di nuovo a Vincent. So, thank you, Vincent, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you again, Vincent. Grazie a Pietro per essere Thanks. crashato e aver creato tante emozioni durante la live. <laughs> Tutte le volte che volete. Grazie a Ivi per aver dato un senso a tutto quello che è stato detto. <ride> Aver cercato di dare un senso. Ma... Io ero ora, giuro. Grazie a me stesso e a Antonella che sta ruotando su se stessa tipo Beyblade. Vi diamo appuntamento alle dirette che non abbiamo pubblicato, ma le pubblicheremo a breve. E grazie a tutti e ciao da Serial Gamer e da Rice Cooker Republic. Bye! 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 Ciao! Ciao! ciao. 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 Salute! Ha <laughs> ha